Today on Makeshift Crate, we're making this wrap and paper dispenser. Hey guys, I'm Corey, this is Makeshift Crate, and today, with the holidays coming, we're making a wrap and paper dispenser. I've had this idea for a while. Actually, I wouldn't do it last year, but we just never got around to it. So, first, we need to start cutting down some wood. So, let's get to that. Some people might be wondering why I just didn't get thinner boards instead of cutting this one down in half. Quite honestly, because this was cheaper. So, like, do the math. It took two seconds to cut it. So, yeah. My basic idea is that I'm gonna glue this whole box together, okay? And then we're gonna cut the top off, kinda like how we did the bingo box. If you haven't seen that video, it'll be up here. Then we're gonna hinge it shut, and we're also gonna do a slit so that the paper has somewhere to come out. And I also have what I think is gonna be a cool idea for a way to cut. So, fingers crossed, let's hope this all goes as planned. But right now, we gotta wait till this glues up. All right, we got this out of the clamps. So far, so good. So, like I was trying to say, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it about here, probably, give or take. And then we're gonna make a slit, probably about here. All right, glue's all dry. Let's continue on with this. Here's my idea. Not sure how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. This is a keyhole bit. Basically, there's a bigger cutting head and a little cutter head. So that way you can plunge it into the wood, slide it back, slide it back out. Use this um, to cut slots to hang pictures or whatever. We actually used it on the uh, wood art. So that'll be over here somewhere. My idea is that if I plunge this in and ride it along the wood... I should be able to get a slot that I can put, then put a nut in to ride a cutter on. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but that's the plan anyway. I screwed that up. Basically, again, why I hate using a freaking router, so I'm not very good at it. Um, yeah. It came up in various spots. It's not wide enough. So, I gotta figure out how to fix this. I think what I'm gonna do is, cause this is all gonna be painted anyway. It's not a big deal. That's why I got cheap wood to begin with. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this extra piece of wood I got. Yes, I know it's plied, but that's fine. Um, I think I'm just gonna use this and, cut, and manually cut a slit out of it. I don't know if this is gonna work either. This is all an experiment. So, we're gonna try doing it this way. See if that works. This seems to have worked pretty well. So I actually was thinking about it. And I think before I attempt to glue all this on, I need to do the next hard thing, which is cut this in half. That way that's already done. And I'm not trying to work around this. Okay, boys and girls. So, as you can see, we screwed this up. This was supposed to be the top and not the bottom because of this thing. So, yeah. What we gotta do is we gotta make a little piece kind of similar to this to fit in here on both sides. To do that, 
I've already measured out the pieces. We're gonna use a four center bit, drill through it to make the scoopy part. Glue it in, go from there. So just in case any of you were wondering why I just cut a slit in this, this is where the paper's gonna feed through. track bolts slide pretty freely along it I think this is gonna work so while the track glues up we need to start working on the paper cutter now there's multiple ways you do this I decide I'm gonna use a letter opener and not one of the like blade sorry types we're gonna use this kind you have a small little blade right here and a place for it to feed in I think if we take a forcener bit drill two quarter inch holes through this. Should be able to slide this right over the nuts and this should be able to cut the paper. So that's the plan. Let's try putting it in practice. It looks like it's gonna work perfectly. I thought that was gonna be hard to drill through, but yeah, not at all. All right, we got this bolted on. Kinda looks like a face, <laughs> but it does hang up a little bit, but it's not too bad. I'm actually happy with that. So we had a latch, but I don't know what happened to it. And I don't know if I'd have enough room for it anyway. So I think what we're gonna use is magnets. We got magnets. So for the pole to hold the wrapping paper, we're just going to use this curtain rod. I'm going to cut it down real quick. Alright, so it does work. It doesn't work great, but it does work. If you were going to try to make this, make the slot wider. I didn't do that. I should have. And I don't know how to fix it now. Actually, I might. Okay, so here's my hope. I'm not sure if this will work. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to ride the, this guide rail all the way down to make a second slit and hopefully make this wide enough. Okay, so obviously that was not supposed to, this piece was not supposed to come off, but that made getting that little piece of wood out of there a lot easier and gluing this back in will not be that hard. Let that glue up and then now there's no reason we shouldn't be good to actually paint this.
that's how we did it guys. Happy with how this turned out. This thing kicked my ass. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, a couple things that we do differently, but you know, this whole thing was an experiment, like I kept saying. So hopefully you like this video. If you want to see more holiday videos, we have a whole playlist right here of stuff we've made for the holidays. So go check those out. YouTube's gonna suggest something for you down there. Hopefully you like it. I think you will. And we will see you next week. Bye.